So I came across this really cool concept today called port knocking. Essentially what it allows you to do is have uh, services available on your servers, firewalls, uh, what have you. They can be available to remote users, but they're not going to show up in a port scan pretty much no matter what happens. Uh, so when you get your Chinese hackers or Russian hackers or whoever out there on the internet, they won't be able to see that you have that port open. And technically it isn't open until you do a network scan uh, for a predetermined sequence of ports. And once the server or whatever uh, box that the service is hosted on detects that this IP address uh, or a certain IP address has tried to connect to me on certain ports in a certain order, it can then perform a certain action such as changing the firewall rules dynamically. So on the left here, I have a remote server that I'm SSH'd into, stephenpoli.net. On the right, this is just on my local PC over here. So if I were to look at the IP tables rules on this server right now, you can see that there is nothing in the input chain that would allow me to create an SSH session to this box. The only reason I'm still connected to it is because of this rule here. Actually, I have two of them. I don't know why. I must have typed it in twice by accident. But you can see it's allowing established sessions to, uh, to be accepted here. Um, so if I were to try to SSH to it, I'm going to get uh, denied. Uh, port 22, which is the SSH port, is not being listened on, or at least it's closed on this firewall. The service is listening to it, but IP tables is not letting it through. So uh, on this, uh, sorry, before I show you what's going on here, but on this box here, we have a, a service that's listening uh, using the PCAP library, the same that Wireshark uses, uh, listening for uh, a predetermined sequence of, of uh, connections to certain ports. And when it does, it, it'll run an action. So uh, basically on this computer here, I have this file called Open Sesame, And in it, we have three Nmap commands. Nmap is just a network scanner. We're telling it to connect to stephenpoli.net on 4132, 27014, and then 4321. Uh, I'm going to change these numbers after this video, obviously. Not like it really matters, because no one's really going to watch this. But um, So what that does when we run it, it's going to run and connect to that server on those three ports. And if we look at the IP tables rules now, we'll see that added to the TCP chain here. Um, we're accepting TCP connections from this IP address here. That's my IP, I'm on TELUS, uh, to destination port SSH. Um, so if I were to try to SSH to the server now, you'll see that it will let me in. So I thought that was pretty neat. It'll keep it in here until uh, another predetermined uh, sequence of ports is run, or you can set a timeout. You could really do whatever you wanted to. The possibilities are endless with uh, scripting that. So I thought it was neat and I wanted to share.